loving brothers and sisters, please all kneel for our daily morning offering. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. God, our Father, I offer you my day. I offer you my prayers, thoughts, words, actions, and sufferings in union with the Sacred Heart of Jesus, who continues to offer himself in the Eucharist for the salvation of the world. May the Holy Spirit, who guided Jesus, be my guide and my strength today, so that I may witness to your love. With Mary, the mother of our Lord and of the Church, I pray specially for the intentions of the Holy Father for this month. We pray for small and medium-sized businesses in the midst of economic and social crisis, may they find ways to continue operating and serving their communities. I also offer the intentions of all my relatives, friends, and my personal intentions today. Amen. Oratio Emperata against COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people past to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Saint Joseph, Saint Raphael the Archangel, San Roque, San Lorenzo Ruiz, San Pedro Calungsod, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning once again, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today is Thursday of the 18th week in Ordinary Time. And today we also commemorate Saint Marie Vianney, the memorial of Saint John Marie Vianney.
the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we are around this altar this morning, we celebrate the feast day of Saint John Maria Vianney, the patron saint of all the priests. In this Mass, let us pray for our beloved priests, for their sanctification, holiness, and enthusiasm in the priesthood. More especially in this Mass, if ever any priest have emotionally or verbally or in their action and deeds, if ever that have offended you, or if you have given any kind of bad feeling, I ask you pardon and forgiveness on behalf of my brother priests. Let us pray for those priests. And let us also pray for, you know, more vocation to the priesthood. We continue to pray for the sick and afflicted. We ask God's mercy and forgiveness upon all the people those who are waiting for God's miracles, mercy, love, and consent. Gathering all our petitions and intentions, let us ask God's mercy and forgiveness to celebrate this Holy Eucharist in a worthy manner. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, who made the priest Saint John Maria Vianney wonderful in his past zeal. Grant we pray that through his intercession and example, we may in charity win brothers and sisters for Christ and attain with them eternal glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns, with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their fathers the day I took them by the hand to lead them forth from the land of Egypt, for they broke my covenant, and I had to show myself their master, says the Lord. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will place my law within them and write it upon their hearts. I will be their God and they shall be my people. No longer will they have need to teach their friends and relatives how to know the Lord. All from the least to greatest shall know me, says the Lord, for I will forgive their evil doing and remember their sin no more. The word of the Lord. Create a clean heart in me, O God. A clean heart create for me, O God and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. 
Give me back the joy of your salvation and a willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall return to you. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. Let us all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, and he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say, John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, blessed are you Simon, son of John, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then he strictly ordered his disciples to tell no one that he was the Christ. From that time on, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer greatly from the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then Peter took Jesus aside and began to rebuke him. God forbid, Lord, no such thing shall ever happen to you. He turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle to me. You are thinking, not as God does, but as human beings do. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters in Christ, as we are around this altar this morning, we are celebrating the feast day of Saint 
John Maria Vianney, the patron saint of all the priests. He says like this, priesthood is the love of Jesus' heart. Priesthood is the love of the most sacred heart. Of course, Naman, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus called people to the priesthood, one who is weak, one who is not that much intelligent. Why he called the weak and the fragile? Because Jesus wants to perform miracles to this poor and simple heart in the world. So my dear brothers and sisters, the people, those who are called to the priesthood are not extraordinary people. They are ordinary people. But God has called them to the priesthood in a special manner. Shambrenaman, my dear brothers and sisters, if that is the case, if priests are ordinary people, an extraordinary gift is given to them, they may have their own shortcomings. So pray for the priest. Pray for the priest. We know the story of St. John Maria Vianney. St. John Maria Vianney was a poor seminarian. He was not that much intellectually capable of even studying philosophy and theology. He failed for many subjects. The bishop and the formators decided to send him out of the seminary because he was not good in studies. Yet they reconsidered because of his great devotion to Blessed Virgin Mary. That's why he added even John Maria Viani. Maria is his, mm. is his you know, uh, devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Anyway, my dear brothers and sisters, they decided to give him the ordination because of his simple and profound prayer life, not because of his academical capabilities and capacities. Anyway, finally, the bishop, after the priesthood, had a big concern to where shall we appoint him? Because if you appoint him in a city area, if people are asking some clarification, he may not be able to give the answer. So they decided to appoint him in a very remote village. John Maria Vianney had no complaint. Wherever he was appointed, he sat in front of the Blessed Sacrament. And you know the story? The parish in a remote village where he was appointed has become so famous and people from different parts of the world flew or they were flying to this particular place to meet John Maria Vianney because of his profound holiness. My dear brothers and sisters, as we are here attending this Mass, sometime we are so much worried, telling that I don't have that, I don't have this. Today's feast day, inviting us to be contented with what you have and submit in front of the Lord totally and completely. God will raise you up. So look at today's gospel. This is very important from that perspective. Jesus is asking to the disciples, what do the people say about me? Because Jesus wanted to know. He started his public ministry, preaching in the synagogue, performing miracles. Now he wants to know what do the people say about him? Am I an effective, am I an effective person to proclaim the kingdom of God? And people said, some say John the Baptist, some say one of the prophet. But Simon Peter said, you are the Christ, the Son of God. 
my dear brothers and sisters, I throw that question to you. What do the people say about you? Alumna, you think, and I also think I am super good. <laughs> we always think, we never, we seldom think that we are, you know, we are bad. We think, I am the breadwinner, I am the one doing everything, I am the one getting up early morning, I am the one providing. I know you have a big litany of lamentation. Sorry, eh? I am not blaming anyone. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I have no intention to blame you this morning. I know we have a long list to tell that I am the one doing that. I am the one, you know, in the family. I am the one taking care of even the, my husband. Matikas na ulo, you don't do anything. I am the one making the money. If it was someone else could have filed the annulment, I understand. I validate all you are saying. I know what you are saying is what you think about you. Let me ask you this morning, what do the people say about you? What do the people say about you? You are saying that you are so loving and compassionate at Mabayat. Tama, correct? I validate. But what do the people say about you? This is what Jesus wanted to know. Jesus knows that he is the son of God. But he wants to know, what do the people say about me? My dear brothers and sisters, in our life that is very important. We think that we are right. I think that I am right. But what do the people say? Am I a right priest? Am I an effective priest? I say that I'm effective priest, but what do the people say? My dear brothers and sisters, this examination of conscience will help you. That's why towards the end, sometime we just, we just think as the human beings does, but not as the God does. God wants you to be effective. God wants you to be compassionate and forgiving. Because of your prejudice that you are so muggling, super good, super mabayat, you have a tendency not to forgive with one another because you think you are right. Here the question is important. What do the people say about you? Your wife says, can you be a little more considerate? Little more compassionate. Mama, I think you give me everything, but can you hug me every day morning simply and tell me I love you? I know, Mama, you provide me everything. Can you hold my hand for two minutes every day? Little things lang eh. God bless you, my dear brothers and sisters. Let this question may help you to become better and holy person in the heart of Jesus. What do the people say about me? God bless you by the grace and the power of this Eucharist that you offer this morning. Amen. Peter was given the grace to confess Jesus as Christ, the Son of the living God. But he must know that Jesus chose to be the Messiah who suffers. Let us confess the cross of Jesus as the power and the wisdom of God. Let our response, Lord, let us be faithful to your church. Lord, Lord, let us be faithful to your church. May we remain faithful to the church founded by Christ on Peter and the apostles and given the authority for, to forgive sins, we pray. Lord, 
Let us be faithful to your church. May the Lord protect the Pope, the successor of Peter, with the strength and guidance of the Holy Spirit, we pray. Lord, let us be faithful to your church. May we see Jesus as the Messiah, who first must suffer before entering into his glory, we pray. Lord, let us be faithful to your church. May we accept suffering and humiliation as path to glory, for Christ suffered for us, leaving us an example so that we may follow in his steps, we pray. Lord, let us be faithful to your church. May we follow Jesus not only in good times, but also when hard times come, when the cross casts its shadow on us, we pray. Lord, let us be faithful to your church. For the intentions of our parish community, the particular petitions and thanksgiving intentions being offered in this Mass, for the continuous healing of Father Vic Apasible, our personal intentions, and for the eternal repose of the souls in purgatory, we pray. Lord, let us be faithful to your church. Lord our God, we will never understand Jesus as the Messiah without the cross. For it is not so much by his powerful deeds, but by his cross that he saved the world. Help us to embrace his cross by which he attained salvation. We Amen. ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bless Nari, Lord, God of all creation, goodness, we have this bread to offer, the fruit of the other human hands have made. It will become our spiritual bread. Blessed be God forever. Pouring out of this wine and water will be the mingling with the divinity, humanity. Lord, hear our prayer. Bless the Lord, God of all creation, goodness, we have this wine to offer the fruit of the other human hands have made. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Cleanse me from all iniquities and all iniquities. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed Saint John Maria Vianney, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through the sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. The word through whom you made all things, you sent us our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin fulfilling your will and gaining for a holy people. He stressed out his hands as he envied his passions was to break the bones of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and saints, we declare our glory. As with one voice, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. May holy therefore this gaze we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he ended willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Now, 
in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant it should be shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven do this in memory of me Let's proclaim the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of your death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, Lord. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coherent with eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Let's say it in confidence and faith. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, at your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. We will receive communion by rose. Please remain seated and wait for the ushers to guide you to the communion line. Kindly remove your face mask as you approach the Eucharistic minister. Thank you. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of blessed Saint John Maria Vianney, that we may perceive in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please all kneel for the prayer to Saint John Maria Vianney. Saint John Marie Vianney, your life was a complete offering to God for the service of all. We pray that through the power of the Holy Spirit, we may all respond today with courage to the challenges of our personal vocation. You were an assiduous adorer of Christ in the Blessed Sacrament. Help us to approach the Holy Eucharist with faith and reverence so that we may enjoy his abiding presence in the most blessed sacrament. You were a friend of sinners. You always reminded them, your sins are just like grains of sand in front of the great mountain of the mercy of God. Loosen the bands of fear that prevents us to approach the mercy of God. Help us to be truly sorry for our sins. Help us to discover the true face of God who always waits for the return of the prodigal son. You were always a help to the poor. My secret is simple. It is to give all and to keep nothing for myself. Teach us to share with those who are in need. Help us to be free from our attachments to money and to all false riches. You were a loving child of the Blessed Mother, your most lasting affection. Teach us to turn to her with simplicity and confidence of a child. You are now the example of pastors of the world. Let your pastoral charity lead the pastors of our times to discover the bond that unites all without discrimination of persons. Give them the love for the church, the passion for the apostolate, and the strength in the face of many difficulties. Inspire in our young people to understand the grandeur of the priestly ministry and the joy to embrace the call of the Good Shepherd. Holy cure of ours, intercede for us before God. Obtain for us what we ask for in faith. You are the humble and faithful pastor, ever faithful in the service of God and all. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Tomorrow, August 5, is First Friday. There will be a Eucharistic Vigil at 11 a.m. and an additional Mass at 7 p.m. Before that, we will have a Vigil at 11 p.m. tonight, Thursday night before First Friday. This is the hour of mercy, according to St. Margaret Mary Alacoque. The vigil will be followed immediately by a celebration of the Holy Eucharist at 12 midnight. Finally, everyone is invited to join Heart Habits, a talk by Mr. Edwin Lopez of EWTN on the topic, First and Second Habits. Be proactive and begin with the end in mind based on the seven habits of highly effective people by Stephen Covey. After the 6 p.m. mass tonight, the talk will also be live streamed on the Shrine's Facebook and YouTube pages. Thank you for your attention. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended, go in peace to love, and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God.